Hello, everybody. Welcome to God Queen Evan, the podcast live from Garcia's at the Cap Theater. Uh, thrilled to be here. Thanks for everybody at the Cap for making it happen. Mike on sound, Josh, Nick, everybody. Uh, just a reminder that God Queen Evan is part of the Osiris Network. Osiris is a family of podcasts that uh, bring you a lot of different podcasts, live events. Check out OsirisPod.com. So we got a lot to get into here. I'm going to bring out the stars right now. Welcome to the stage, Paul Gakowski, Will Nunziata, and Katie Hartman. and last ever uh, <laughs> live recording of Godwin Evan. Uh, I'm Paul Gutkowski. That's Katie. I'm going to cry. Uh, I'm Paul Gutkowski. <laughs> please don't no, cry. I'm, I'm a shell of a man. Uh, I'm Katie, Katie Hartman. Hartman. Will uh, Nunziata. What up? Yeah. yeah. You guys, we are here at Garcia's. It is in the Capitol Theater. We are here and doing this, and it is this is blowing my mind right now. <laughs> and we are so used to facing each other every show, just staring into each other's eyes. And now I have all your eyes to stare. Yeah. Which is pretty I feel cool. like the Eagles. <laughs> you feel like, what do you I mean? Eagles? Like an Eagles acoustic set. I fucking hate the Eagles, but... Anyway, all right, look, so what do we do? Good, good positive note to start on, Polly. Uh, you, you probably noticed that we're missing uh, somebody up on the stage today, and uh, that is the villain of the podcast. Uh, he was last seen at the Hilton last night at 4 a.m. <laughs> Shirtless, rolling around in dead leaves. Uh, so has anyone here not listened to the podcast ever? And it's cool if you haven't. Yeah, that's all yeah. right. Yeah. All right, so thank you. <laughs> that's uh, it, my best friend Bobby. <laughs> Just raise his hand. So what this show is, is the three of us are diehard Ween fans. Uh, and we have a great friend of ours named Evan. Uh, Ooh. Boo, uh, who likes everything we like except Ween. So over the last year, we have been sitting him down around our table and forcing him to listen to Ween, sometimes blindfolded, uh, and he just needs to listen to the songs and come up with an opinion, and the goal is to have him love the band. And last night, we all saw the show. Has everyone here at the show last night? Has everyone seen the photo of the glisten in, in Evan's eyes <laughs> during Ice Castle? <laughs> Fuck, man, that was a great show, right? It was um, amazing. So let's, uh, let's bring up the villain of the show. Give him a nice, loud Garcia's welcome to Mr. Evan Kaufman. <laughs> What's up, everybody? <laughs> What's up, Garcias? Uh, I feel as if there's some people in this bar who are experiencing what the Godwin Evan experience is all about, which is not wanting to be part of something, but not getting a fucking choice. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to have a drink with my friends. Oh, no, now I'm part of a podcast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. what happened to me. And that is why I am now up on a stage wearing a very wrinkled shirt and a sailor's cap. It looks a little young on you. <laughs> Do you think it looks a little long? I bought yeah, you this uh, shirt. Young. I think it young. looks young. I bought you this shirt a year ago. Have you ever worn it? Tonight is the first time. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Well, I would wear it to work, but you know. <laughs> work at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I'd, yeah, I have a real job now. Sweet. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, 
So what now? These people <laughs> all, well, let's, uh, these people okay. all tear me apart limb from limb. Yeah. Uh, all right. So let's uh, Draw, drawn and quartered in a ritual ween sacrifice <laughs> to the Boognish. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Pretty much. <laughs> Uh, no, but, uh, like, seriously, fuck Evan. Uh, Katie also saw Ween for the first time. Yeah, it was my first yeah. show! Uh, so let's talk about the show. Yeah, let's talk about the show real uh, quick. What did, uh, what did everyone think about the show? Katie, what did you think about the show? Oh, man, guys, I had such a good time. I was just, uh, surround, it felt like I was surrounded by love. It felt mm. like the energy in the room was incredible. I, there was... There was something that I was like, oh, I've not experienced a, a community like this altogether, even though I don't know very many people, but it was just, a, it's palpable in the room how much people, are you laughing at me, you little fuck? No. <laughs> yeah, you, are you what? giggling at me? No, I just remembered I'm wearing a sailor cap. <laughs> yeah, you will well, continue to wear Just fucking listen, it. actively listen and stop thinking about yourself for once. <laughs> yeah, you for fucking Just once. fucking pour your heart out. You're worried about your stupid sailor cap. No, that's hat. fine, I'm done. Thanks for ruining it, Evan. <laughs> All right, fine. Now, Evan, what did you think of the show? I liked it. <laughs> all right. You did. Okay. All right, all right. Here's the deal. I wrote down, I wrote down, so I, I, I really loved the show. It was really fun. You I wrote down right. You've got five them right. small things that I noticed about the show. Are we ready for let's that? Do it. Yeah. Or do you guys, do you guys want to talk about the show as well? No, no, no. I don't, well, let's, we'll talk about it through this. Okay. So number five, the Bubba Duknish. So there was a man in a top hat. <laughs> And leggings. I don't know if he's here tonight. Does anyone know this man? Did you see him last night? Was there a yes in the front? Was it? Jimmy. Oh, it's Jimmy? It's Jimmy. Okay. So I saw Jimmy at least 12 different times throughout the night, popping up in different places. So when I got to the hotel, he was in the hotel, and he was like, are you going this way? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, I am. <laughs> and he basically led us to our rooms, and then I just kept saw seeing him. Yeah. All night. And I was like, can anybody else see this guy? Nope. Like, we're all seeing him. He, he just I, creeps up next to a toilet. And at one, yeah, and at one moment during the show, I was, like, kind of looking around, and I look up in the balcony, and he's right at the front of the balcony, staring down. And he takes his top hat, and he doffs it to me? I swear <laughs> this happened. From the balcony, his eyes turn to me, and he doffs the top hat, and I'm like, damn, this is a good show. Did he also give you a tiny bottle that says, drink me? Yeah, he did, mm -hmm. yeah. Is that why you're so tall? Yeah, I mean, he's very short. <laughs> yeah, it was, the Baba Duknish was rad. He was, he was out there. So that's my number five. That guy had good energy. Yeah, yeah, real good energy. Number four, the light of the Boognish. There was one point where I was staring. You guys, if you haven't seen the show, there's this big uh, uh, illuminated projection, projection of a boognish. <laughs> They've all seen the wings. Did you guys see We that? all know what a boognish is. Right? Did you guys see that? You guys all know what the Bageldorf is? So I, I was looking at one point, and I'm just making eye contact with the boognish, and, like, my pupils are dilated, and his pupils are dilated. <laughs> and I'm, I, I'm, I'm looking at That's it, right. and I start to get very uh, horny. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. You get it, dude. Yeah. I started like sweating, and I was like, "Why do I feel so hot?" And the Boognish is staring at me, and I'm staring back at the Boognish, and I was like, "Okay, I get it now." Yeah. 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 So that was that was a moment. Where do you go from here? <laughs> I mean, I think I there's have to still a top three. To yeah. Also, yeah. thank you for being so vulnerable, Evan. That was a very yeah. vulnerable. Yeah, thing yeah. To say. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm horny for cartoons. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the horny for the boognish. Um, and then uh, my number three was Diener's body. Mm. So <laughs> I had, had... Amen. This was, it was like watching a steel-driving man play the guitar. You know what I mean? Like, just the, the, the physicality of Diener. A steel-driving man? Did yeah. you say a steel-dragon man? <laughs> yeah, like, like a, a dragon man work, made of steel? Like a guy who's, like, working in a coal mine. And then he comes home and he like dusts off his guitar. So a that's a coal driving man. That is a coal driving man, I guess. I guess what I'm saying is bring back coal energy. No, all right, okay. All <laughs> no, right. no. But he's, uh, and, and it, just like the, the body language, and then he would finish his song every once in a while, and he'd lift his hands up like this, mm -hmm, like he yeah. had just made a fresh kill. Yeah. And it was very primal, and I really, again. Yeah, you've never experienced Diener faces before. No, the Diener faces were really on point. Yeah, and that every once also, in a while. That's something that stuck out to me, too, yeah. is just how much fun he was oh my having. God. Just watching him enjoy every tiny moment was yeah. just a reminder of uh, art. Yeah. Art in the world. Art in the world. And there were a couple of moments, too. Right where on, Katie. He did. Yeah. 
He did my favorite thing that I love when guitarists do, which he's like, I don't even know how the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> oh, no! Like, just the fucking funny, like, I mean, good. how did this happen to me? Oh, God! And it's just, and he's gone. And you're like, oh, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. I fucking loved it. It was like watching a 1920s muscle man play the guitar. It fucking ruled. And also made me horny. And then number two, um, number two, so... Uh, for people who haven't listened to the podcast, I very famously said early on that I loved beautiful music mm -hmm. because I'm a very soft, young, liberal arts educated college boy who <laughs> likes, I like soft, I like Joni Mitchell, I like the beautiful music. You also music. said in that first episode that you have trouble with rock and roll, <laughs> which I've never let you down. You said a lot of down. real yeah. shitty things. I get it, trouble guys. Trouble Please. With Meet me in the parking lot out of the after here. Give me a, a too hard hug. Are you gonna have a dance fight with someone out there? <laughs> Ooh, I brought my leg warmers. I'm hoping. So, I but I'll fuck you up in a break dance fight. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's limber. So I but at one point I think uh, it was Diener who said, "You guys ready to hear some beautiful music or hear something beautiful?" Yeah. And I was like, "Right, that was a sign, right?" It was a sign. Yeah. And then I knew 90% of the songs. Yeah. Last night. Because my, we are a very good podcast. Yes. Yeah, my favorite we're great part of teachers. Night, my favorite part of the night was every time they started a stallion, you tried. You were just like, "Which one is it?" I could see you counting on your hands. Yeah. Each time they started I was doing this. I was doing stallion math as it's and called. And for the record, they played three stallions last night. Yeah. For the record. So <laughs> mark it down in your prison cells. Stallion, stallion, stallion. Um, but I, I, uh, I had this moment last night, and I think this is, I mean, the reason that this podcast exists is you all have a friend who you're like, you got to watch this thing, man, or you got to listen or read this book or whatever. And most of the time they go, yeah, 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 I'm not going to do that. But these people did the smart thing, which is they consistently locked me in a room and bullied me until I did it. So I had this moment last night where I was like, I know this song. I know this song. And I had like my Keanu Reeves like, oh my God, I know Kung Fu. Like I was like, oh my God. Like I, I didn't even want to do this. And I know 90%, I'm just turning to Katie and Paul and like laying down facts. I'm like, this is fucking off the mollusk. And this is fucking, oh, and this is, they took this yep. one in the shack, Yeah, you're man. welcome. Yeah, man, this is chocolate and cheese. I'll pork roll like a cheese. First song came on. And I didn't know it, but it was about a weasel, and I was like, yeah, this is like part of their weasel set. They fucking love weasels, of course. It's all like adding up to me, man. And it was crazy. It was like I was the Jason Bourne of Ween. Like I woke up and I was like, oh, fucking yeah, man, fucking, that was the third stallion. All right, yeah, yeah. And I guess what I'm saying is Stockholm Syndrome is real. Yeah, you love it. You love it so much. Yeah, it was crazy. And then here's number one. Is it about Jeaner? I hope it's about Jeaner. <laughs> yeah, you haven't even mentioned Jeaner. It is, Gina, about, it is about Jeaner. It is about Jeaner, and it's about all you guys. It's about... Oh. oh. Guys, it's about friendship. Oh. It really is. There was a moment in the show where I was watching, and I was watching Jeaner and Diener interact, and I turned to Will. Oh, yeah. Who, I have this moment written down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who Will, at that point, his eyes were like... Um, 1930s uh, Mickey Mouse cartoon eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And his for tongue... No, for no real reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His tongue was Absolutely like a... Absolutely not a specific reason. His tongue, yeah. his tongue was like a Venetian reason. blind that had fallen out of his mouth. He looked like a cartoon wolf who had seen a sexy lady. And he turned to me, and I looked back at him, and I was like, man, they really love each other, don't yeah. they? Because they were playing, and just that kind of magical thing. I had, a, I had a person who told me once that love is the appreciation of skill, and to watch them appreciate each other and each other's gifts. And I mean, it was like, it was a really magical moment. And then I looked around at all my friends, all these people who I've known for a while and who truly love this thing. And to be within that thing, to be invited in to that subculture was really meaningful and impactful. And of course, it ends with me, yeah. 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 Right? And of course, it ends uh, with me shamed in front of a crowd of my peers <laughs> in a sailor hat. Yeah. It's your favorite you're doing, thing. I think you're doing great. Thanks, Polly. Yeah, and I think everyone has been rooting for Evan the whole time, right? Yeah. Team Evan. Yeah, hashtag, hashtag Team yeah, Evan. We get yeah. mad because we love you and we yeah. want you to appreciate it's it. It's like wrestling. You like the heels. You're hoping that they come around. But also, you know, if somebody breaks a chair over their head, fine. I don't know, man. You showed up. You're here for two full days. It's true. You're wearing that dumb fucking I've hat. abandoned my wife. I've abandoned my boy. <laughs> I've abandoned my boy. That's right. I left... 
I left my child uh, in, in the New Jersey turnpike. I'm sure Kaylin will find somebody bike. else yeah. real fast. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding me? A six-foot-two guy who likes comedy and is into improv and yeah, has a yeah. sailor hat? Living in Brooklyn? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, she'll trip Has over anyone a else tried them. to bring, like, a, a non-ween fan to a ween show? Yeah. Did, did it fail? It's Car Carly Alexandra. I've made this mistake way it's too many times in my life, and this is the first time that it has worked, and it takes a year. It took a year of prep. It took a well, year of work. And again, I'm basically a sister wife at this point. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, anything you guys tell me, I'm like, well, this, you know, like I was, again, it's become part of my lexicon. I was back there by that laptop, and I was like, wow, playing your own entrance music, pretty brown. Yeah. Pretty brown <laughs> yeah. to play your own entrance. Pretty brown to have people talk about you as if you're not there, but you're standing right there. And yeah. I mean, you when you showed up, Evan, people knew who you were. On and Earth? How did they treat oh. What? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, when you popped out of your mother's <laughs> vagina, the doctor looked at you and said, not a ween fan. I think pushed we, you back in. <laughs> yeah. I think we should name him Cookie Jam. <laughs> That's what the doctor said. <laughs> they smacked your ass, you cried, and he's like, ooh, Cookie Jam. <laughs> and, uh, well, here's, here's a question. Yeah. Evan, who would you uh, give the gift of ween to wow. next? If you were going to... Pay it forward. Um, yeah, did you say Jesus? <laughs> yeah, I'd resurrect Jesus Christ, and I'd slap some headphones on him. I'd say, check out this disc, man. Get ready for some stallions, mang. Um, yeah, yeah, our mang and savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, That's a t-shirt. I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, please make t-shirts out of this show. Um, hey, Jesus, check out this reggae junkie Jew. <laughs> Was Jesus the original reggae junkie Jew? I, yes. This absolutely. is what we're here well, for. Speaking of Jesus and Ween, that, uh, the version of the rainbow last night was like going Ooh. to like the most rainbow church yeah. that I've that ever been so to. Beautiful. Yeah, Pen Pentecostal for sure. Yeah, man. <laughs> sure. Yeah. yeah. Deep Baptist. Oh, also, just one other, <laughs> one other asterisk thing. Uh, I had a sore throat at the show last night, and I woke up this morning no longer sick. You goddamn right. He was here. Guys, the Boognish laid hands to me, <laughs> and I was healed. Um, I think I would find a, I, I have some other friends who I think are, uh, would be into this kind of music. You should get your brother, Aaron. I, honestly, that is a good, my brother. Turn your head in Kaufman. Yeah. Turn your head in Kaufman, oh my God. <laughs> it's the fucking Baba Duke Nation. Yeah, yeah. Baba Duke. Oh my God. You can all see him too. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Did you at one moment during the show last night, you were up in the balcony, right? Yeah. Did you make eye contact with me and doff your cap? I think I did. Wow. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> yeah. This is fucking wild, man. <laughs> this is insane. Baba Duke, did you <laughs> doff your cap to a lot of people last night? <laughs> <laughs> Only okay. four? A Only four doffs? Four? Right. That's good odds, A Baba Duke never does. <laughs> That's right. He <laughs> really fucking creeps out. <laughs> or fucks. <laughs> So the real question is, how many doffs do you feel like tonight you've got in you? Ooh. How many, how many Baba doffs? <laughs> Where are you he's looking? just looking around. He's looking yeah. around. He's counting the people. Okay. Yeah, oh, oh, right. oh, we got a baker's dozen. 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 Ooh, a baker's do dozen. I would like to talk for a moment about that harmonica solo. Oh my God! Right? Yeah. How fucking tight was that? Yeah, Gene or Wonder up there, man. Have they been doing this lately, playing Drifter in the Dark with that harmonica? They did it at Red Rocks. It was, Ooh, yeah, fuck. Amazing. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's all I got to say. It was real good. <laughs> real good. That, that, it was, that was real, the, real good. good. The Drifter in the Dark Sucks segment. sticker. Thank you, Mel. This is what I was talking about. His bod, man. Uh, he's got tell. a very sexual vibe. You can tell gener has got those slashes, too. You know, the, the little, uh, you got them, Paul, the, uh, the... the hip, like the hip bones? Yeah, the hip bone count? slashes. You know what I'm talking about? Like D'Angelo? Yeah, like D'Angelo. <laughs> D'Angelo and Gina, two artists whose body almost destroyed their careers. <laughs> Should that's we, like, um... Uh, that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. No problem, Paul. I you have got, those, like, fuck things? Yeah, man. All right, so, uh, so like a good thing that we do in this podcast is that we force Evan to listen to some songs. And Wait, tonight but, we're gonna. Before we do that, can we talk? There's a few more things about the show I'd like to yeah, talk about. Oh, yeah, get into it, Paul. Uh, so after the Japanese cowboy Glenn solo, mm. uh, I was standing about like ten feet from Evan during that part of the show, 
Uh, Glenn finishes up his solo, and I just hear a wow from like 10 feet away, and it was Evan. Well, I, I had never heard so much Westworld piano in all my life. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking killed it. I loved uh, it. It was great. The, um, so it was hard to, like, I never want to, like, get any on anyone else's trip or their whole experience, right? Mm. But we're, like, at the show, and, like, it's been a long time coming. So I would, like, watch. I was trying not to watch Evan, but I couldn't help. Yeah. But, like, every once in a while, sneak a peek. Uh, and I took a, a few videos as well. Uh, you took videos? I took two, I have two videos of Evan, like, really, really into it. <laughs> like, when he was, like, coming, the parts where he was coming. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. it was most of it. Yeah, <laughs> the part where he fucked the book now or Gina yeah, he, he changed his pants, like, four the, times. Uh, the feeling is mutual, because there was one point when I looked over at you, Paul, and you're sweating and shaking, <laughs> and you're kind of looking down, and you, and you just went, at one point. Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's wow. a lot of, uh, I do a lot yeah. of, uh, Paul just, <laughs> Paul just, <laughs> I just I felt release. Yeah. It was quite something. Yeah, I came a few times as well. That's what you're talking about. Uh, there's another... Oh, go, like, also, like, I, th I thought about the songs that you did not... That you kind of shit on. Uh, yeah. Like, Go and Gets Tough, you didn't love. Mm. Like, yeah, you I, didn't like it when I played it. I saw it. you... I did see you doing, like, a version of the rerun <laughs> to it. You're, like, pop and locking to Go and Gets Tough. Yep. Uh, and then She Fucks Me. There's another one that it was one of mine, and you were fucking pretty b fucking rude. Oh shit, we got roses. Oh, I got a uh, rose. Very okay. sweet. <laughs> Katie did. What is That's happening? so nice. Uh, <laughs> Should I eat it? Does it have drugs in it? Yeah, yeah it's. Eat the rose. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's very good. Oh, uh, no. I saw you like that one. I saw you. Yeah. She fought to you. It finally made sense to you. Yeah. The way, the, what it means to like have someone who just wants to fuck you. No, I don't get like that. that. <laughs> I, I didn't get that. I didn't get that. But yeah, I, yeah, so I do think, again, it's, it's one of those things. When you see a band live and you're part of that subculture, it's so different than just being played. It just so is. So what you're yeah. saying different. is this podcast should have actually been us taking you on tour from show to show and then afterwards... Uh, and blindfolding you <laughs> at the show, yeah. and then getting your uh, commentary afterwards. Correct. Well, yes. that's the next year, I yeah, guess. Yeah, that's I next guess year. That's next year for sure. Yeah. Great. All right. Uh, so we're gonna play Evan a fan pick. Uh, Daniel, are you here? Where's Daniel at? Uh, Daniel. Daniel. Daniel picked the song uh, today, and Daniel, where's Mikey? You got the mic for him. Um, can you just intro the song without saying Daniel. the song title? Just give us a reason why Evan will like this yeah, song. Yeah, why you picked everybody. it. Yay. Uh, so, Evan, I picked this tune because uh, many times you felt pretty concerned about the boy. And yeah. uh, I think the boy is fine, and this song uh, is all about his concern for his friend. Okay, great. Yes, I have often been concerned for the boy and the weasel <laughs> throughout this experience. So this is Evan's first time hearing this song. We're going to plug him in. Now, this is scintillating entertainment here, watching a man in a blindfold listen to headphones. This We're, is, don't this worry, is like, we got it covered. This is like being on the New York City subway. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> focus. 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 All right, so while he listens to that, we'll either talk shit about it or, you know, we'll talk about the song. Is he plugged in? He's listening? He is plugged in. Great. The song that he is listening to right now for the first time is... Mr. Would You Please Help My Pony, uh, a song by Ween that I hope we get to hear tonight. He has no idea what he's in for. <laughs> I, just, I actually just looked at him for the first time since he's got the hat and the fucking eye mask on. Uh, Daniel, great choice. Uh, this is a song really that we've been trying choice. to play for him uh, for months, but nice. as you know, there are so many great fucking Ween songs, and it's so hard to pick one every episode. Yeah, <laughs> Paul's going in for a selfie. When did you first hear this song, Dan? Oh, you don't have the microphone. Got it. Got it. Oh. Um, I guess probably, what, 94 was when the album came out. Mm -hmm. So I got introduced probably around 93. Mm -hmm. um, yep. and then That's cool, man. Chocolate and Cheese was the first album I bought for myself. Amazing. Well, thank you so much. Uh, this song used to scare me as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, I found it frightening. You're, like, uh, definitely in, well into your teens when you heard this. Yeah. <laughs> you're fucking when you scared. say kid, was, what do you, I, mean? you, say you make it sound like you heard the song when you were, like, nine years old. When I was a kid, when I was 29, <laughs> listening to this song for the first time, 
It Nothing. sounds like you like are talking about it with Tim Curry, like as you like you were a child. Yeah. Yeah. I've Same never, amount. I've never seen any of the. Uh, I've never seen it. It's. Yeah. You never seen the it's. You never seen there any of the it's. it's? Yeah, the there, was a, there was a remake shit. of the. That it. recently, that's yeah. a cloud movie. Yeah. I saw like uh, thirty seconds of it once on uh, the home box office. <laughs> I was watching the home box office. And uh, I was flipping through, and I just like clicked on it. It was like a Wednesday night at like 10 o'clock, and, and it was like all it was is like some kid like going down uh, like a, a flooded basement, and like in the distance there was a fucking scary clown, and then all of a sudden the scary clown was right in front of his face, and I was like, what the fuck am I watching? I'm this sorry story? I brought this up. It's my fault. This whole thing, this whole thing is. Do you guys want to hear about all the other scary movies I've seen? <laughs> uh, yeah, I like um, Halloween. The original one. This is going just as well as I hope. <laughs> yeah. I forgot that I didn't do much research about Mr. Would You Please Help My Pony Boy. And I usually fill in some fun facts about the song during this part. That's okay. It's your, it's I just your... don't have it today, Katie. Yeah, that's all right. I forgive you. Thank you. Uh, so, um, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, been a long, it's been a long couple of days, Yeah, Paul's, Paul's, Paul's been in a state for the last couple of days. Yeah. Uh, I've been, uh, I feel good though now. You look good, Paul. Thanks. You ready to enjoy tonight? I think I've, uh, yes, absolutely. What uh, song do you hope they play tonight? Um, I hope they play, well, Albano Sunburn Girls, my yeah. favorite. Uh, they played it in Philly, they're probably not going to play it tonight. Oh, Fuck he's you, back. Will. He's back. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Fuck. welcome Thanks, back. Thanks, Will. Oh, hey, he's back. <clears throat> hey, guys. Evan, what do you think that song is called? <laughs> My boy? Someone please help my boy? You heard boy? You heard boy? Oh no, what was it? Pony. Pony. Oh. No, I, I, yeah, that's what I heard. Oh my god. <laughs> Mister, would you please help my pony? Oh, okay. Well look, you have to understand, I just had a son, so now everything's, <laughs> everything's. Look, I mean, man, how many hooves does your son have? <laughs> Two, <Yeah. laughs> like any other normal son. Look, I found him at a lamppost. Through a wardrobe. Um, pony, got it. Well, look, I can't help the fidelity of these headphones. Were you able to like fully enjoy it? Yeah, I loved it. <laughs> Are you just saying that because we're in front of a crowd of people? No! Uh, why would I say that? I love the, the, the trilling of the pan flutes. I don't think there's enough pan flute in most rock and roll. Jethro Tull, it kind of stopped right there. We also, we also have the first time, this isn't the first time we've talked about the greatest pan flute player on the planet, <laughs> Jethro no. Tull. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when are they gonna get? When are they gonna put Jethro Tull in the Hall of Fame? I think they did, right? Just him or the band? Yeah, just him. <laughs> just the flute. Um, uh, I found this song to be very whimsical and enjoyable. Oh. Yes, a little, a little uh, taste of Middle Earth, perhaps. Good job, Dan. Yeah, yeah. Which is also how I felt last night at the hotel which was watching ween fans go one way and a wedding go the other way. <laughs> yeah. Did you guys see that? That was pretty enjoyable too, where it was like, there go the hobbits and there go the elves. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, who's who? Uh, the elves are in tuxedos. They uh, live in Rivendell on the one side of the hotel. And, You're uh, a dick. <laughs> uh, so Evan, there is a story uh, about this song. Yes. Uh, but it's very possible, ready? Supposedly Dean and Gene had just finished writing spinal meningitis in their hotel room while on a drug trip. Mm -hmm. Gene was hungry and went downstairs for food. He saw a headline on a newspaper that said, am I gonna die mommy? Very similar to a line from the song. He got scared and ran up to tell Dean, but he found that Dean had started coming down from drugs. He was curled up shivering and repeating, Mr. Would you please help my pony? I think it's his lung. Mr. Would you please help my pony? I think it's his lung. And then that became the fucking song. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> What did was the yeah 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 that was uh, provided by Jamie Cummings was the uh, was the uh, this is Will's new intern Jamie Cummings <laughs> thanks, gonna thanks be, Jamie he's gonna be dead by the end of the night <laughs> was the newspaper in there anywhere did I miss the newspaper headline? no that was just the uh, inspiration for the oh, song oh yeah well I'm a pony fan uh, so yeah I'm I'm into this I think we should save them all oh please play it tonight. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> I eat ponies and I drink their blood. You got me. I love to drink a pony. Yeah, man. Yeah. Drink, drink it up. All right, Brad. Yeah, do you want to do that? Yeah. And then, oh, yeah, I guess yeah. we're... So um, we are going to do a Q&A. Uh, if anybody has any questions...
cues. Also, Anyone? no. Or answers. Yeah, no <laughs> but, I'm actually questions looking for answers if anybody's has got any. Mikey has a, if you do have like a question for Anyone Evan, also if you don't, that's know. fine. If you never listen to podcasts and you just ask, what the fuck is this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, I, I got a question for that. Yep. I got a question for Paul. Yeah. Did you shit your pants last night? <laughs> uh, no. No, but this morning I did. <laughs> Um, Jesus yeah, I had a, I had a, a gravy. There's a sandwich. If you're ever in Park Slope and you go to Fifth Avenue Deli, there's a, a sandwich called the the poop of Fifth Avenue. It's a roast beef, mozzarella, and brown gravy. Wait, gravy? Yeah, uh, easy gravy. <laughs> uh, and I only I eat it like twice a year. Like and this? I, yeah, I had it. I mean, they get the easy gravy from Will's Packet, uh, and they. Uh, Yes, yeah, so I had one of those at like 4 a.m., and I definitely had uh, an accident this morning. Yeah, and on an earlier podcast, Paul said that uh, he shits himself after most Ween shows, and he said most fans do. Is that true? Is that true? I see a couple. Uh, yeah, I see, I see a Brian Costello's not in his head. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ryan, thank you for the yeah, question. Yeah, we got another question. We got another question. question. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Matt oh, hey. How hey, Matt. Doing? Hey, Matt. Hey, Matt. So I saw can, Evan. Can uh, you please tell me what trade publication you're from? That's uh, <laughs> Matt Noonan, CBS News. Uh, As, Asbury Park Press. Time Out Magazine. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, I did see Evan right after the show, and I saw Katie right after the show, but I did not get the full... I could tell by the delighted look on your face is that you were changed, but I want to know how, if, you, if you're officially in Browntown yet, or just tell us a little bit about the uh, overall reaction to the first show. Yeah. yeah. Can I you, mean, do you want to take him to Browntown yeah, first? I was blown away. I knew that I was going to be, but I didn't know, like, exactly how. And again, like, watching, watching two people who are so good at what they do and have been doing it for so long, you know, uh, that 10,000 hours, Malcolm gladwell uh-uh. <laughs> Some guy is jumping to uh, get his friend's attention, but for a second I thought, wow, that guy loves the Malcolm, tipping point. Yeah, <laughs> that's also what I <laughs> that guy is really jumping from Black 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 Black. Um, But yeah, it, it was like, it felt like a, a master class and like doing what you love for as long as they have. Mm -hmm. I was, I was trying, inspiring. I was trying, sorry, I gave him the cut. I was like, again, like trying not to be a creep and just watch someone watch a show. But I did like check in with Katie a lot. And then like, and when she was just like fully, fully beaming for like two and a half hours when they played, like, just like, I mean, she would, like, thrash around a lot, but it was a lot of just, like, staring and positive light and love going both ways there. Yeah, it was great. I mean, I, if there was more room, I would have moved more, but it was a lot of internal buzzing that I was just like, I'm dancing inside, I'm dancing inside, I'm having such a That's actually time. what you look like most of the time. Yeah, 100%. I'm dancing inside, I'm dancing inside. It's a guacamole hat song. <laughs> yeah, 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 I love I it, I love it. I love it, 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 I love it. Yeah, it was great. It was so great. Uh, I don't know if I'm the mayor of Brown Town, but I feel as if I'm running for city comptroller at this yeah, point. Comptroller. Maybe I'm um, ombudsman. Um, I I had a moment where I was watching the show, and I think it's really fascinating too for a band that has been around for as long as they have. When you see like a new band, you can tell they're like they're trying to project confidence and they're trying to do a thing. And when you see a band that has been around for such a long time and played these songs so many times and knows like that people, what the songs mean to people, to watch them kind of settle into that uh, feeling of just like, it, it, you know, it doesn't, there's no, there's no uh, need to connect, you know the connection's there, right. and there's just this kind of pure enjoyment of playing a thing and kind of like being in love with the, with the thing. And yeah, I could have done another two hours. Yeah. yeah. And well, I will really tonight. Tonight. I could have yeah. done more. I'm so excited that we get to do it again tonight. Yeah. <laughs> like the fact that, yeah. look, I mean, it's the fucking amazing that Katie gets to see two back-to-back -back wean shows because she fucking insane. loves wean. And then Evan is just fucking committed to going <laughs> two back-to-back -back wean shows. And it's also cool that Will gets to see him or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Mikey, do we have uh, any other questions? Maybe from someone, someone who doesn't know the podcast and just wants to yell something. <laughs> oh, Mel Gilmore. Yeah. Yeah. Give it up Mel for Mel Gilmore. I was just wondering when you're going to play Flutes of Chi. Uh, uh, where, you mean Guacamole Hat? Are we in cover band? Are we in cover band? Or uh, uh, tomorrow? <laughs> 
someone gave us a lot of shit for not playing all the obvious choices. But like, uh, Flutes of Chi yeah. is an obvious choice. Whoa, Ooh, shots and, we, wow. and we have not played it. Wow. You're right, we have not played that for Evan yet. Uh, there are some people, will, people will come up, people came up in the lobby and they were like, I can't believe you haven't played <laughs> fucking Tin Pan Alley yet for this guy. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Uh, yeah, well, we need to play a Mr. A Mocha. Songs. Yeah, there I can't wait for you to hear a Big Jim. He's gonna hear a Big Jim tonight. Yeah. Uh, and then, but like, there's also something very special. I like, I leaned in. I didn't talk to Evan a lot, other than to go like this to him a lot. Yeah, I was like watching you. Paul was uh, giving me the Meet the Fockers yeah, all night. Jay Soho's. Can you make me, Evan? It's toilet humor. Those films. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, wait, what was I just gonna say? Oh, no, know. like when, uh, when they started Frank, I was, cause I almost played him Frank so many times and I'm so glad that I didn't because then he just got to hear it. And that's when you got to see the interplay between the two of them and how much they love each other. And it was, I was so glad that you saw it and hadn't heard it before. No, like, this it was pretty was the rad. First time. I just kept going up to Evan all night and going, you get it now, right? <laughs> yeah, he does. You just get it, Well, right? that was actually a stanchion in the venue. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. Yeah, you weren't oh. talking to actually. Yeah, yeah, have that, was, wow. yeah, yeah. that was the door of the yeah, cab. Yeah, it was a door frame. That's why you were so stiff. But yeah. the door frame was wearing a sailor's hat. Yeah, yeah. to I be fair. I love it. We, yeah, got, we got time for one more? Yeah. One more yeah. Question. yeah. Okay, one question. Was there any song that stood out to you that you were like, you did, you heard like maybe li not live version and then they played, like, I, he didn't play Frank, but anything that was like, that really. Yeah, it was, it was uh, She Fucks Me. Okay. Listening to that song and Golden Eel. When I heard when I heard Golden Eel like on the record, I was like, I well, so the the real story behind this is once me and Paul were in an Uber and Paul was in the back because I always have to sit in the front seat with the Uber driver because it's it just happens to me all the time. And Paul was in the back seat like all cockroached up in the back seat, his body spasming from whatever MDMA he had ingested. And uh, I'm dancing on the inside. I'm dancing on the inside. <laughs> and Paul was like. This guy was talking about Frank Sinatra. Somehow we got like the most stereotypical New York taxi cab driver that night who was like, you know who I love? He's old blue eyes. And we were like, cool, man. He's like, get a good slice of pizza. We were oh, like, the limo driver. I go in for the this capital years, yeah. baby. Yeah, it was insane. He's like, I've been driving since 1942. You know, a little cap. And he go, and Paul's like, you want to hear it some It was uh, Buster Poindexter <laughs> from Scrooge. <laughs> yeah. Chomping on a big cigar. Jersey, you moron. Yeah, so Paul's like, you want to hear some real music from the back seat as his eyes are rolling back in his head and blood's pouring out of his mouth. And he hands the dude, he's like, give me the ox cord. He puts it in and he plays the golden eel for him. And this guy is like in the front seat, like listening to golden eel. <laughs> and I'm there like up front with him. So if he, you know, has like an acid flashback to Nam, he's going to stab me first. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm so sorry, man. Like this guy, I don't know about this guy. And the cut yeah. to we all fucked later yeah, that night. Yeah, it's insane. Uh, we didn't have to pay for the cab. Yeah. It was great. So the guy was like, well, I don't know, or whatever, and dropped us off. And that's been my feeling of Golden Eel. And then last night when the Golden Rays were hitting me, I was yeah. like, that cab driver was fucking wrong. Can yeah. we talk about that light show? Yeah. Uh, Who does the light show? What a great job <laughs> that man does. Yeah. Hot. Yeah, that was Will's other hot take coming out of the show. He was like, the oh, lighting, am I right? <laughs> and the smoke? That might have been what I was on, but it was a great <laughs> light yeah, show. Yeah. You were like, wait, the wait, best wait, part wait. was how <laughs> solid the floor was. Are we not we naming drugs in this episode? Fine, that's fine. Yeah. Wait, what? 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 Nothing. The light what? show continued in that Hilton um, bus on the way back. Dude, who was on the Hilton bus? Whoa. Trip. It was like a reggaeton club in that Hilton bus. Yeah. To answer your question too, Stop during up. during Roses Are Free, like in the back end, I just and I know we joke that I only like circus music, but I swear to fucking God, there was like boom, 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 and I was just like, they are doing this for me. Yeah. yeah. Yes. You know how this sometimes you'll be like, only me. Wow, that band really took me to church. I feel like Ween is the only band we feel like. That band took me to the haunted carnival and Ray Bradbury is something wicked this way comes. I mean, uh, I'm yeah. there for it. Yeah. I am 100% there for yeah, it. Yeah, man. You sing the body electric for sure. <laughs> right on. Cool. All righty. Uh, any other questions or anything? No, anything? no, no. Sta uh, statements. We'll take statements. Yeah, yeah. As well. Anise. Yeah, we got oh, a statement. Yeah. Right yeah, we got a statement. 
I hope they play Albino Sunburn Girl tonight so yes. you can actually hear what the real thing is like okay. because Paul played you a horrible version. I yeah. Oh, yeah. But it's not the best one to hear. To actually this is the other great thing about this band is someone will play you a track and then they'll be like, you listen to that version? That version's terrible. <laughs> you gotta listen to the other version of the song. The 24 sure. minute one from St. Louis. <laughs> it's the same one, but it, that one's different. You know what I mean? It was a bright sunny day today. <laughs> That's the version I love. I didn't play that one. It's from Starland Ballroom. Maybe later, we can all hang out at my place and listen to it. <laughs> Did you just invite everyone to your house? Yeah, if you guys all wanna come to Park Slope, my wife's still out of town. <laughs> She needs to come home. <laughs> Someone go to California and bring my wife home. Yeah, guys, whether or not you listen to this podcast or have enjoyed this at all, just know our wives are all very upset at us. Yeah. Does that help? I've had, I've had some very angry texts today to deal with. <laughs> Whoa, where are you? You said you'd be home by 8. Uh, so oh. we have a, a, a special treat. Yeah. Um, Guys, uh, for you guys well, today. I think also just we should say thank you so much yeah, for coming man. here. I do think the one thing I've learned more than anything is that Ween has some of the greatest fans on earth. Yeah. Seriously, thank you guys so much. It really means I'll fucking, I will cry. Yeah, to accept a fucking asshole like myself has been really, uh, really, my parents haven't accepted me as much as Ween has accepted me. And, and, I, and I want and to I'll work that out to therapy. everyone who likes to ride the rails and stayed over here to watch uh, this. Thanks, bud. <laughs> Thanks, man. Um, so, uh, in like the first or second episode of the of the podcast, we joked around uh, that after a year we should form a Ween cover band. Um, so, uh, yeah, by the name of Guacamole Hat. Uh, so Which tonight was a, it's der happened. A, der uh, a derisive happened. thing I said. So, about Ween. so tonight is the debut of uh, Guacamole the Hat. First the first and, and last, last performance. Yeah. Absolutely. And, this is it. Uh, uh, every week I also ask Evan if he listened to any Ween this week, and every week it's the same answer. He <laughs> listens to your party fucking <laughs> 20 times a week. Uh, we'll take so, it, though. So, we'll take that answer. Great song. ladies and gentlemen, song. Guacamole Hat performing your party. Oh, man, we are not musicians. <laughs> I think it's in, Will. Yeah. Producer Mikey, everybody! Hey. Producer Mikey, everybody! Hey. Could have danced all night. We 
said We had the best time at your party I closed my eyes, I drifted to sleep, to sleep, to sleep, to sleep. I dreamt about me. Uh, maybe I'll see a party. And just how great that would be. And we said, we had the best time at your party. Thanks, Mike in the booth. Evan! 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 Evan!